Hi, I'm Stephanie Lomelli, and today I'm going to be showing you about border molding. So we're going to go over a few of the materials that we're going to have today. I'm going to show you how to apply the border molding compound that you'll be given today, um, how to heat it, how to properly apply it to your to the edges of your custom impression trays and um, how to cool it. Today, you're not gonna have a hot water bath. Um, when you're in clinic, you're gonna have a hot water bath that you can set to 140 degrees. Here, you're just going to be using a bowl um, with lukewarm water. Um, I'm sorry, hot water. So let the hot water run for a few minutes until it starts to to feel very warm to the touch. Um, and then we're gonna put the border molding compound inside and show you how to manipulate the um, face. So one of the things that you'll notice is that these are gonna be very different than the human mouth. Uh, when you're working with the mouth, you're gonna be pulling the cheek um, upwards and out or downwards and out. Um, as well as making them make several movements. Here with Dexter, you're not gonna be able to do that. So uh, we'll be manipulating the cheeks the best we can. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna melt the compound. Trying to apply it to the very border, not going too much onto the lingual. Here we can smooth it out using the torch. Now each time you hit the torch, if you look at it, a jet of air shoots fire out. So test out your torch to make sure that it's working. If it's not, get it fixed. It'll be essential that your torch works not only for this project, but as well for the puzzle rims. Okay, after 30 seconds, you can put it in. And you want to press on the plastic molding. Intraorally, you would be pulling on the patient's cheek for them, but since this does nothing to it, you want to be pressing on the plastic compounding. Okay, you're trying to get the border, the very edge. See from there, you want to take off that excess. So you want to have it right on the edge. So all of this can be removed. As well as this gross excess. And see how if you heat it, it's very easy to manipulate. Break off again. You're trying to add two to three millimeters to the edge to fill the vestibule. Try 
trying to minimize how much excess you have onto the lingual. You don't want it very thick and clumpy. Okay, so each time you apply the compound material, you want to heat it um, at a sizable amount and heat it about three to four times. Each time that you're doing it, you're trying to perfect it and get it a little bit more smooth. Okay. So see how I'm pushing against it. Anything that's on the lingual surface really will prevent it from seeding properly, okay? Um, you can see how it's kind of clumpy, the voids here, right? So we would go back and reheat it. See how it's smoothing? It's because it's getting too hot. Okay, so it really just becomes a back and forth. We can put it down again. Applying a little pressure. And pull it out and so any of this excess can be taken off So see how thick it was? All of that is really blocking it from seeding properly. And even then you want it to be pretty thin. Now you're going to do each side on its at a at a time. So you'll start with the distal. You'll move to so the distal buckle. You'll move to the labial. And then you'll do the flanges. I have no idea why it's not sticking. I think because we just made them right now. So these custom impression trays were just made a few minutes ago for the purposes of this demo. Um, so it's possible that the MRA um, is still stuck on here. So you want to make sure to wash them really, really good. Okay. So soap and water really well. 
And then you want to make sure that your trays are, are pretty dry. And that's dry when you apply like that first coat. So see how after several tries, it's starting to become a lot smoother of a finish. And you can see that most of that clumpy mass has come off. and even take down some of the excess and scrape it away. Okay. And that's it. Nice and smooth.